Bank, the entertainment capital of the world, it's the new Tom Green Show. From Gilmore Girls, Milo Ventimiglia. Pro skater, Jeremy Klein. Pro surfer and star, Boarding House North Shore, Veronica Kay. And Scott on piano, and me, I'm Glenn Hufflick. And now, Tom Green. It's Big Monster Spectacular Friday. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Hey, you know, um, and we're uh, really excited. Uh, MTV's actually decided to keep our show on the air. So. Yeah. And I couldn't be more proud. Finally, I can look people in the eye and say, I'm moving out of my parents' basement. <laughs> Glenn is actually... Glenn's actually a little upset because if we'd been cancelled, he had dibs on the furniture. So... <laughs> uh, uh, I no. Uh, right after we got renewed... Um, this week, right after we got renewed till the end of the year, uh, the Guinness Book of World Records actually called and they want to put me in their, their edition for having the longest 15 minutes of fame ever. <laughs> Pretty good deal. You like that joke, don't you, Glenn? I like that one. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Bon Jovi, the uh, rock and roll uh, artist. Bon Jovi, the rock and roll singer, the rocker, Bon Jovi. He's actually thinking about uh, purchasing a football team. And uh, he's thinking about, actually, the Dallas Cowboys, because, like him, uh, they also haven't done anything good since the 80s, so... <laughs> I, uh... Hey, did I mention it's Big Monster Spectacular Friday? <laughs> Hello, how are you? How's it going? How are you doing? Nice Having a good day? Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Nice time. Hello. Hi. You're doing lovely. How are you? Nice to see you. Hello. Nice to see you. Hey, uh, I uh, called one of those. I'm not, I'm not proud to admit this, but last night I called one of those uh, 900 phone sex lines. <laughs> <laughs> and I told, I told the woman on the end of the line that I was sad and that I was lonely. And she said, Hey, brighten up, sweetie. At least you're not that Tom Green loser. <laughs> Tonight on the show, we have from the Gilmore Girls, we have Milo Ventimiglia. Milo Ventimiglia. Milo Ventimiglia. And uh, pro skateboarder from Team Birdhouse, my skateboard team, Jeremy Klein. Yeah. Yeah. As well as uh, pro surfer and star of uh, Boarding House North Shore, Veronica Kay. Wow. Oh. Show. So... Last weekend, um, we went to the, we <laughs> went to the Teen Choice Awards, okay? Then it aired a couple of nights ago. And then last night on the show, right before we walked out on the show, somebody told me, because I didn't hear it when I was at the show, somebody told me that David Spade had called me a moron uh, on the show. Yeah. <laughs> now, I hadn't really seen it yet. I hadn't seen the clip. Did we get the clip of a David Spade calling me a moron on the show? 
We got a clip of Davis. Okay, because see the thing is, is because I I don't really I'm I'm a little bit upset about it because I'm you know I you know when David Spade you know again a big uh, comedic influence of mine. Uh, this is you. It's it's a sad thing, right? It's well, a sad. It's a it's an embarrassing, and sad, and uncomfortable you, thing. But the th the main thing is Britney Spears was there, and I I heard that she might have heard him do it, which oh, is okay. yeah, which is upsetting to me because you know we have the uh, connection going. We have a love connection, uh, Britney and I. Right. But can we look at the clip? Because I haven't seen the clip yet. My mother called me yesterday, right before the show, and I haven't even seen the clip. Of can we see it or because I. I you guys, some people think this next guy's a moron, and by some people, I mean everyone. Please welcome Tom Green. Well, he didn't actually call me a moron, actually, there. He said, everyone thinks I'm a moron. Uh... I guess there's a well, consolation. I don't know. It kind of sounded. No, but like... I, my mother called me yesterday and said David Spade called you a moron on the show, and he didn't actually say that. He said everyone thinks that I'm a moron, which so you, your mom's made you. Look which bad I, I guess bit. in a sense, though, though everyone does include David Spade. So then I guess David Spade does think I'm a moron if everyone thinks I'm a moron. Indirectly. I, I want to call my mother, anyways. <laughs> I just think, you know, it makes me upset to think that he thinks I'm a moron. David uh, Spade, I, I think he's very funny, and if you'd like to come on the show and we could talk about me being a moron, I think that'd be cool. Maybe you should come on the show oh, and we could talk about it. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Hello? Know. Mom? Yeah. How are you? It's Tom. Oh, God, I, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I just, I just looked at that clip um, that you told me about with, uh, of David Spade calling me a moron. <laughs> yeah, what a little prick. <laughs> Well, I mean, he didn't actually call me. <laughs> but Mama, well, I used to like him. I kind of, you know, I used to like David Spade. Well, yeah. I mean, Why would he do that? You can still like him, though. I mean, I still like him. Well, I don't know if I do. You know, you should uh, have him on and have a game of Trivial Pursuit or something. Well, it's and not an intelligent. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if he. I, I don't know. Okay, that's a good idea, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but he didn't actually call me a moron. He said, everyone thinks I'm a moron. So that's different. He didn't actually say he thought I was a moron. He said, everyone thinks I'm a moron, okay? Well, I don't know. He didn't seem to like most of the people he introduced, so I wouldn't feel bad. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Well, I just wanted to let you know. Yeah. <laughs> that he didn't, didn't actually say that. Okay? Bye, Mom. Oh, okay. He didn't yeah. actually say it, yeah. but, but he, I miss you, Mom. he meant it. I miss you. I miss you, too, Okay, okay bye-bye. Okay, have a good night. Bye. <laughs> it's not really accurate. There's no way David Spade could actually know if everyone thought I was a moron, because he would have had to have spoken with everybody. So. Yeah, you'd almost have to ask him if he thought you and, were And that's moron. pretty well virtually impossible that he could have speak and spoken. Oh, my God, <laughs> I am a moron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he couldn't have spoken with everybody, could he? <laughs> okay. So uh, this is something that I'm a little angry about here. Oh no. Um, More. No, it's because Glenn's got this hot shot publicist. Okay. Glenn's got this no, hot I... shot. Glenn Humplick has a no, hot shot publicist. No, I don't. Hollywood Humplick. Last week, there a couple weeks ago, there was an article in Entertainment Weekly uh, uh, magazine, and uh, the picture of you, big picture of you, no picture of me, no picture of anyone else on the show. Now, Mad Magazine has a big picture of Glenn. Have you seen this? No. Look at this. There's Glenn right there. Look at Glenn. <laughs> Look at the TV. Look at that. Uh, what kind of... What kind of... Because Glenn is a fancy publicist and Snoop Dogg's manager. What kind of media whore are you becoming? You're, you're standing right next to yeah, me. Yeah, but look how small my head is compared well, to I yours. Well, I mean, that's not exactly flattering. I look like... But look how small my I'm head is. You're, you're turning into some sort of a media whore. I... Shut a up. media uh, whore. Uh, hey, did I mention that it's... Big Monster Spectacular Friday! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! It's the mascot man! What happened? Oh no! Oh no! What happened to the mascot van? It looks like there's been a horrible accident. The window's broken, the bumper's dented, there's blood here. Somebody's been hurt pretty badly. And we're going to find out who that was later on tonight on the show. We'll be right back.
with one of the stars of Gilmore Girls, Milo Ventimiglia. <laughs> Hey, it's Big Monster Spectacular Friday. I always like I always like the Friday audiences, but this Friday audience is like a Friday audience. Yeah. <laughs> What time it is? You know what time it is? It's time to make calls for people who don't want to make calls using the telephone. <laughs> you know what I just did? <laughs> Something stupid. <laughs> I just went down under the desk and I jammed my head, <laughs> hand, hand into the burning cigarette. And I burned myself. I think David Spade was right. I really am a f moron. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's my hair look? It yeah. looks. Fine. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, we are going to make a call this, uh, for, uh, for somebody, an uncomfortable call for someone who needs a call made on their behalf for them, a call which they don't want to make. Uh, before the show, we spoke to people who uh, needed these types of calls made. We screened the audience, and uh, we narrowed it down to this man. His name is Andy, and he is 19 years old. Is there an Andy here who's 19? Yes. <laughs> Andy, meet Glenn. Glenn, Andy. Andy, Glenn. Hey, Glenn, Andy. Have a seat. Okay. Let's see what happened here. I, li I, I like this one quite a bit, actually. Um, <laughs> do you want to explain what happened real quickly? All right. Um, well, I have this girlfriend that I've been with for about a year and a month now. Mm -hmm. And, like, a, like, over a year ago, she got this puppy. And uh, she really liked it, named it Logan after uh, Wolverine. And uh, so she like got this attachment to it. And one day I was going to her house and... Um, you ran over the dog, you killed it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I pretty much clipped it. And yeah, then... but then you told her a year ago that somebody else hit it. And she doesn't know that actually you killed her dog a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> And you, you would like me to call... Here, hold this. You would like me to call Katie and tell her... Well, I feel she de deserves to know. Yeah, she does deserve to know. <laughs> what an astute observation. Yeah. <laughs> so, I will let her know on your behalf. Is she going to be mad? Hmm, Probably. I wonder. Hello? Hello, is Katie there? This is Katie. Hello, Katie. How are you? This is Tom Green calling from the new Tom Green Show on MTV. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I have a bit of a uncomfortable call that I have to make on behalf of your boyfriend, Andy. Oh, God. Okay. Are you sitting down? <laughs> You're freaking me out. Okay. Well, what do you think it could be? Um, I don't know. He tells me just about everything, so... Okay, well, this is something... <laughs> This is something that he didn't tell you. Oh, no. Do you have another guess? I have no idea. Okay. Well, about a year ago, remember Logan, your dog? Uh, yes, I do. Remember it was run over by a car and killed? And Andy told you that he saw a car hit the dog and then the car took off? Mm -hmm. Andy was driving that car. <laughs> Is this a joke, or...? I'm afraid not. He didn't have the nerve to tell you, and he actually he, he killed your dog, and he was ashamed. No way. Okay, He's I'm listening. You can, you can, no way. He can hear you right now. I hope that you can uh, forgive me for this. What? 
Are you joking? I'm not joking. Anything you'd like to say to him? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> he didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. So well, it's all cool? He didn't want to hurt you? Fine. Okay? Good. <laughs> gonna work out in the end. It's all gonna be fine. Let's see. See, Andy? Honesty is always the best policy. Okay? Dog murderer. Andy. Okay. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. My first guest is an actor and can be seen on the hit show Gilmore Girls. Let's take a look. You didn't tell me? You came by? You came by. I didn't think you'd have the guts. So what were you thinking? Jess, I don't like your father very much. So because you don't like him, that means I can't know he's here. You know he's here. No thanks to you. Shouldn't have come for me in the first place. So what, you don't think you owed it to me to tell me, prepare me? No, Jess, I didn't. With everything that's going on here with you, I, I kind of hoped he'd just walk away. But once again, Jimmy makes the wrong move. What a shot. Well, who the hell are you to decide what the right move is? How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. I said Milo at the beginning of the show. Dude, you know, it's a, it's a common mistake in the yeah. English vernacular. It's Milo. It is Milo, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm a moron. No, dude, I mean, yeah, no, you're not. David Spade, the guy's just, he's, he's pissed off. You know? Oh, yeah, no, he's... A little vertically challenging. Yeah. No, no, happens. it's all fine. So, you know, you play like a rebel on the show, like a rebel, yeah. kind of a, a, a rebel. Pretty much. Yeah. He's just, you know what? <laughs> Jess, he's just, he's a little too smart for his own good. He's a little reckless. He gets bored. Stuff like that, you is, know. Is that what you're like in real life? Oh, you... God, no, no. I mean, yeah, I know I'm, I'm terribly intelligent and read a lot, no. Um... No, he, uh, I basically actually took the character off of a uh, best friend of mine that I grew up with. Oh, okay. This kid, Aaron. I've known him since first grade. So you know this, yeah. or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Every single interview that I go in, I'm like, yeah, they're like, tell me about Jess. You know, are you a lot like Jess? I'm like, man, I'm nothing like it, but this kid that I grew up with is exactly like him. Just devious, nefarious acts, man. Cool. That's okay, well, well, we're going to talk about uh, that uh, and a lot more stuff when we come back after the commercial, okay? Awesome. Cool. All right, we'll be right back. Skateboarder, right? Yeah, I grew up in Orange County. Skateboarding, snowboarding, stuff like that. Oh, so. yeah. Do you see the... Uh, yeah, like, shoes are all beat up. You see that show, The O.C.? Dude, why? Everybody rips on The O.C., and I don't think a lot of people have been down there. Yeah. I mean, the coolest, the funniest part about The O.C., and I'm, I'm trying not to rip on them, but uh, I think in... I haven't even seen the trailer, but in the trailer, like, some guy gets punched, and some dude's just like, welcome to Newport. Man, that wouldn't happen. That's not what it's like in the O.C.? Dude, in Newport especially? Newport's just like a bunch of uppity people. Oh, man, now I'm ripping on them. Um, <laughs> no, you know, you know what? Newport is just very, very moneyed and very homogenized. It's a cool place. It was a great place to grow up. I yeah. was totally growing up from there. But they make it... You grew up skateboarding there and yeah. stuff? You yeah. still skateboard? Or? Yeah, down in Venice a couple oh. times a week. Because we got uh, Jeremy Klein up next. Dude, I know. Actually, I saw that he, uh, the segment from The End. Yeah. Like with him and Heath Kirkhart. He's from sick. the uh, O.C. as well. Part. Yeah, uh, uh, Irvine, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Neighbors. Yeah. Represent. Yeah. So uh, now you recently got into gambling or something like that, right? <laughs> Do you have a gambling problem? A, a gambling yeah, dude. It's like Jekyll and Hyde when I like when somebody pulls out the dice. I mean, my friends gamble, we'll walk around with like wads of cash, like all singles, uh -huh. and we just play CeeLo and go crazy. So. I don't even know what I don't know what CeeLo is. It's three dice. You basically take three dice. Yeah. Tell you what. So you walk around with cash and dice, and you gamble just on the spot with people. At a gas station, when you're at a boring party, when you're on the Tom Green show. Okay. I don't really know how it works, though. I'll tell you what. This is how you do it. Whatever you roll, you roll a pair. Let's say you roll a pair of threes. Uh -huh. And the other die you get is a five. Your score is a five. Okay. One through six. Then you got triple ones, triple through triple six. Okay. Four, five, six is the highest roll. One, two, three is the lowest roll. Okay. 
<laughs> He's confused already, man. He doesn't even know. It's not, a, not a good night for me to be having to solve math problems, actually, <laughs> judging oh, by the opening uh, desk equations. chat. So, dude, uh, we'll get into it later. So I roll it, and then I have to add? Uh, no, basically this. You, you kind of, like, you do things where, like, you ante up a dollar. You have any money on you? Uh, here's, here's some money right here. All right. <laughs> oh, against his roll. So we do this, watch. Okay. Okay, you got 25 bucks down. Uh -huh. I'll match you 25. Okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to match you 25. Okay. Uh, is this legal? Can we get in trouble for this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, great. Now roll the dice. All three of them, right? All three of them at the same time. And then add. I'll do it for you, man. Okay. I'll oh, see. Uh, okay. Does it count on the ground? Well, usually when it goes off the table, you lose automatically. <laughs> but see, I'm getting into these rules. Oh, another 25. No, no, no. Keep okay. it in. Yo, Keep it in. Beginner. Same 25. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Three, four, five. No roll. Keep rolling. Why? What just happened? What did I do? Nothing. Oh, you didn't score. You didn't score. You, you gotta hit. You gotta hit a pair. You mean I didn't score? How do you, How do I know I didn't win? You need a pair. See, what? Look, now, Glenn, come here. You do this for him. Oh, I need a pair. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. he was trying to rip me off or something. Like so your scores is six. Oh, I got two. I got two threes. I got two a six. threes and a All six. Right. No, no, no. I got to roll first. <laughs> I didn't score. Oh, two twos. But I got a five. That's your yeah. money. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you said it for twenty-five bucks. Should have brought the loaded dice. Hey. Should have brought the loaded dice. See, that's a fun game. I'm no moron. Dude, right? You got twenty-five yeah. bucks, yeah. man. In your pocket. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> So I heard you're making a movie with Wes Craven? With Wes Craven, yeah. It's a horror flick. Oh, cool. um, it's, uh, I guess, the most I can say about it is serial killers in Los Angeles who turn out to be werewolves. Okay, cool. Are yeah. you a werewolf or a serial killer? Or oh, a man, I can't killer? even get into that. But that must be pretty fun, though. You know what? It's cool. Wes Craven's actually a trip, though. Like, you'll hear, you'll go on a set, and he's a very, like, easygoing guy, very soft-spoken, kind of gives you room to act, which is nice. Like, he wants your input as an actor. Um, but you hear stories about him, like, I guess on screen. He was really getting into the knife stabs, like uh -huh. talking to, I think, uh, Skeet Ulrich about uh, the knife stabbing scene. And he was just like, when you're getting in there, you just want to just, uh, 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 and he's like, people well, he's, are afraid he's like, of him. <laughs> You know what? It's, it's in there. It's yeah. in there to be a little. Oh, but, that's cool. That's going to be cool. Yeah. Um, now, uh, you were you've been acting for a long time, but I heard you were discovered in a mall or something like that. Is that true? Or is that Man, a you know what? I screwed through a mall. No. There was a table out, an agent. I signed up with him. In two years, I uh, I did like an extra spot in a Dr. Pepper commercial. It was a bunch of bull. Right, but it, it worked out though. Right? No, because I did. They, that didn't do anything for me. What happened with college? I, I read <laughs> you had some crazy messed up uh, situation dude, at college. I was in. I was at uh, UCLA. I was there for sweet. I had a girl, the Bruins. All right. Got one, one of them. One girl. Yeah, one girl. Yeah, to one girl. <laughs> dude, represent. We're in oh, fucking man. Los Angeles, and one person went to U.S. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> but so I was at UCLA. So that, that gives you an idea of the intellect of our audience. Oh, we have one yeah, university graduate here. All right. Did you graduate? All right. All right. I didn't even graduate. All right. But I was there for four years. So I was there at UCLA for four years. Uh -huh. Work got in the way, and I was like, you know what? I got to take some time off to my counselors. Hey, I'm taking two quarters off, and you know, I'll probably be back next quarter. And they're like, well, you got to reapply. I'm like, what do you mean I got to reapply? Like, you have to reapply like everybody else. You got to reapply. And I'm like, look, I'm going to be in a position to speak well of your school or poorly of your school. What do you want me to say? I was on hold for like two minutes. She came back. She's like, you know what? You can, uh, you can come back whenever you want. Oh, okay. So it's like you throw a little muscle in. Oh, yeah. And... You screwed but I was them like over. Year, yeah, I was a year away from graduating. But yeah. no, you know what? It was a good school. Yeah. I just, I didn't, I didn't yeah, find she, my place there. She thinks so. Bruins. Cool. Well, uh, One person clapping. Well, it's fun. We're going to bring out Jeremy Klein in a minute, so yeah, that's awesome. going to be cool. We can talk about skateboarding and stuff like that. that works. Maybe find out what happened at the mascot van, too. So uh, we'll be right back with pro skater Jeremy Klein. Stick around. Oh, shit. Oh. My next guest is, the, is a professional skateboarder. He's one of the original members of Team Birdhouse. Take a look at this clip. Okay. 
please welcome Jeremy Klein. Jeremy. So, Matt. How are you? What do you do? Oh, it's one of these. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, oh. <laughs> Set him in his. Oh. <laughs> Where'd my go? Oh. I don't know. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Yeah. 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 What's How you doing? Well, What's up, man? How you doing? doing mild. Milo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what? Nice what to meet you. Sorry for making you bust out of the way. I just had to give Glenn one Dude. of those. In what happened to Vince McMahon's watching What happened to your hand, Jeremy? Um, <sighs> I, um, I was destroying that van yesterday. Yeah. And uh, my hand went through the windshield. Mm -hmm. It was very dangerous. Yeah, you went to the hospital. It's actually really cool, though, because now I have even less feeling in my, feet, my hand. <laughs> yeah. So when I whack off... It feels like I have even, it's like I'm getting a hand job at like an massage parlor. Ah. If you know what I mean. And, <laughs> and you know, Tom knows what I mean uh, about the well, persuasion. Uh, uh, because uh, Asian hot sluts. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I, I don't know. What, wait, no, no. What is it about? I, I, I'm not sure what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Okay. All right. We skateboard for the same uh, hey, team. No, man. I'm doing well, man. <laughs> okay. We, I, I'm on Team Birdhouse now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jeremy, Jeremy asked me to be on the team. But, but, uh, <laughs> Look at how long that guy's neck is. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Glenn? I, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, no, we're on let's, Bert. Let's, let's, Am I supposed to look at you or like over there at Bert? Am I supposed to look at Bert standing there sideways like, are you wants me to come over there and grab him or what? <laughs> you can look at Bert, you can look at me. Okay. I, I want to talk to the van because uh, the idea is the van, see, is a thing that uh, was originally an idea that you came up with. Yes, I, would, I wanted to write for the show, uh -huh. but you guys denied me because all my ideas were lame. <laughs> and cool. the, the van was one of the ideas that somehow flew under the radar, no. if you know what I mean. No, that's not true. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Yeah, so so is we, that our money? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I heard this couch was six grand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much it cost. <laughs> okay. I don't know. But anyway, the idea was that we uh... American Idol. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, Woo! Tom Green show. so you were you were <laughs> Tom Green show. <laughs> So anyway, the, uh, the idea was that we were supposed to take out a van and smash up the van, have guests smash up the van, and then mm. you were a little disappointed with you it. You mean like Aaron <laughs> Yeah, Aaron, uh, Aaron, Aaron Carter took Dave? the van. Right. Oh, that's, oh, okay. Uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Aaron Carter. Okay. But, but you didn't think that we did it. We have some clips of you smashing up your van, and this is the way that we were supposed well, to smash was, up our van. Well, this is old footage, though. I'm kind of an older guy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> We didn't quite, we didn't quite hit that level right. with the mascot van, and you were disappointed when you I'm, watched I'm the show. I'm happy that you guys did a van, period. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was weak. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, if you compare it to like full-size trees. Yeah, full-size trees. Yeah. yeah. Well, so so we actually gave Jeremy the van, and uh, that's how the van ended up looking like this, and how you screwed up your hand. Yeah. Oh, I can't see. Man. Oh, I hurt 
hurt my on that one. It's my stomach, Jeremy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so while well, that 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 the van doesn't even work anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. I wanted to. There was actually two vans stacked on top of each other, and I wanted to hit one and have it like fall on top of me and like maybe like duck out. But it it didn't happen because I couldn't start the damn thing after that. Right. What part of it did you? Cut this your hand? was actually a weak thing. I'd kind of just Derek Derek, you know, right over there. Derek, right mm -hmm. there, huh. was acting like you know, let's get a good blood shot. And I'm like, you know what? I'll give you a good blood shot. I went like that, and I guess I hit like a point. And it just started squirting blood. Uh -huh. Not that crazy, but uh, you know, like I said, it's made whacking off a million times better. <laughs> I'm gonna get like some palm trees painted on my fingernails so that it feels like it's like maybe like a hot little number giving me a hand job. Now, why? <laughs> you know, why, why didn't they film going to the hospital? I heard what, that what you were laughing at. Well, because I was laughing at you, Jeremy. I thought that was funny. The they, thing that you just said. They, <laughs> they wouldn't let us film at the hospital. I thought I thought they didn't want you didn't want us to go to the hospital because you were worried that it would make you look kind of. Oh, if you guys would have ran the blood footage, I would have looked like a major. Because I'm like, okay, I gotta stop, and I ripped off my shirt and started wrapping it around it. Yeah. And then I went like that. It started spraying, and I went like that again. So it was totally. Yeah, but blood was spraying. I had to stop. Well, what, but what? no, the van. Up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the van broke. Right, right. So you had to do yeah. something. Yeah. Why? Uh, why? Uh, see, because Jeremy's always like jamming glass in his in his ha head and stuff. Do we? Have, we were up in a restaurant in Canada. Oh, together. is this where you broke the wall and uh, upset the whole state of Canada? I think so, but we're not going to show that clip. Okay. <laughs> um, we have a clip of you just for some reason we're eating at a sushi restaurant. You want to do something? Like you're drunk, drunk and angry. Drunk. Still throw this. Whoever the wants weird, to like venture. Weird... Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm cut open. Oh, dude, are you crazy? <laughs> I'm cut open. Oh, here, here. Oh, so. Yeah, Bert. Yeah, Bert. That's Bert right there. I don't know if you guys know about Bert, but he has a pool, a nice yard, lives in Brentwood. It's the late night gentleman. Yeah. We've been over to we've been over to Bert's house. Oh yeah, Bert has a very nice house. It was built by a contractor who kind of did illegal rooms and stuff like that. <laughs> he has illegal rooms in his garage. That's cool. Yeah. That's hilarious, yeah. huh, Bert? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get out of here, Bert. <laughs> See ya, Bert. You've chased him from the studio. Has that uh, happened before? Her? Has he ever left? The, no, you've, he's never Wait, left the studio. Wait, we haven't talked about Ed Scott actually. Yeah. Ed Scott. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I brought you a present. I brought Tom a present, actually. It's actually a Japanese porn. Uh -huh. yeah. But no, it's it's soft core. It's soft core though. There's no actual penetration. Okay. No, no, that's what I'm into. I'm not into the penetration. I mean, what? You guys want a video full of? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it getting boring? Wait, we were up in. Uh, Can we do one on you, Tom? It'll uh, look really cool. That's the problem. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Ready? All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> we were up in, uh, we were. Oh, with the wrapper. Okay, all right. It's a copy. Of, oh. It's a copy of the Birdhouse DVD. The yeah, end. this is our video. You guys should buy it. We really want you to. Okay. This is, of course, Tony Hawk's uh, company. Uh, uh, the Tony Hawk, the guy, you know, Tony Hawk. Yeah. The yeah. video game, you know? Yeah. So we were up in Canada recently, and uh, Germany, yeah, we uh, chopped a tree down. But what about this porn? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice porn. Okay. I appreciate can we do, it. Can we do one of these on Ed Scott? 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Let's actually go. You'll do it? Jeremy. Camera. <laughs> Let's have let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at us chopping down a tree. And Dan Veronica K is coming down. I actually make a skateboard. Jeremy Klein, Willie Santos, and myself. Well, let's go chop down a maple tree. Then we're going to attach skateboard wheels to it, and we're going to ride it down a hill into a fridge. Oh, that's good. That one, yeah. We're going to all of this though. So we're going to chop this tree down. <laughs> Not exactly Paul Bunyan, am I? See, kids, you can have all sorts of fun in the woods. You don't have to do drugs. You don't have to go out and smoke marijuana or shoot uh, heroin or chew on the magic mushrooms. Will is bleeding. Wow, a little. Asian hands. There's other ways you can entertain yourselves. You can go out to the woods with a saw or with an axe and chop down a tree. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. There it goes. Yeah! <laughs> Say no to drugs. Yeah! Say yes to chopping down trees. <laughs> we'll be back. The troll surfer and star of Boarding House North Shore, Veronica Kay. Stick around. Jeremy Klein. I guess Ed Scott took the porn. <laughs> I don't see it up here anymore. Ed, Ed did, you, did you take the porn, Ed? No, no. Ed Scott, do you even have a DVD player? No, 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 no. Wait, what do you got? You got Betamax? Uh, no, I have an old wind-up phonograph. <laughs> My next guest is a world-class surfer, surfer and uh, starred in the WB's The Boarding House, North Shore. Please welcome Veronica Kay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hi. How are you? Do I get to sing here? Wow. Hi, Tom. Sorry about Jeremy. Was I was, uh, I was That's just right. He already visited ass. me in the uh, dressing room. Oh, were you guys talking about Yeah, we, we had a moment. Yeah? yeah. Are you from Orange Slaughter. County as well? I'm actually moving there. I wanted okay. to tell you all. So this is like three people from Orange County right now. Yeah. 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 No, 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 I'm from L.A. I'm from L.A. I'm from L.A. I'm from I'm L.A. Would have to care. <laughs> Let's talk to there Veronica for a second, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this so is uh, you right here, right? Guess so. Yeah. On a good, on a good day, maybe. <laughs> now let's stop. Can I just tell you, I'm I'm really excited to be here, and I so excited I nearly pee my pants. And oh, I, it actually, I had to pull off the side of the road today, the freeway. I got stuck on the five yeah, right at Santa Ana, and yeah, thanks for you just you just drove down here, and you signed a found out today you were coming on the show. It was thanks for coming on short notice like that. Oh yeah, four thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Now what is the now what is the boarding house North show, Shore show? What is that? It's just a show about seven surfers all living in a house together on the North Shore for two months, and um, yeah, we went crazy. It was fun. Really, what happened? It's kind of it's kind of scary though. It's like I don't know throwing a party and having your parents be there. Right. You know. So I you had to kind of be on on your guard, but but no. You're a pro surfer, though, right? You're a real pro surfer, right? Yeah. You're, are you like, uh, do you know Kelly Slater? <laughs> yes. Uh-oh, what's that laugh mean? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. Because he was here last <laughs> no, week. Was he? Yeah, yeah. Did you like him? Yeah, he was Did really cool. Did he talk? Yeah, yeah, he talked a little bit, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was interesting? Yeah, it was really good. Oh, Why? good. Really boring. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was cool. <laughs> so now what, have you seen sharks? Do you see sharks? I've seen surfing? sharks, like, yeah. What, what happens when you see a shark when you're surfing? Because I'm, I'm afraid of sharks. No, you can't be afraid. I went, you don't know, you just... I caught the wave, the mm -hmm. same wave as the shark. My friends were back at the boat. I was like, I don't know. You can't worry about it, though, because if they're going to get you, they're going to get you, right? Right, right. Well, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, now, are you a long boarder or are you a short boarder? No, I short board most of the time. Is that like Blue Crush? Or... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they mostly shortboarded in Blue Crush. Okay. There was a little bit of longboarding, though. Like, the, you know, the big football players, they were longboarding. Right. Oh, what, what do you mean? Like, football players longboard? Or? <laughs> well, no, but usually if you're learning, you longboard. Right, oh, okay. But and you mean you can be really good in longboard, too. Right. Do they actually throw the football from, <laughs> like, are they playing football? Or, so, now, uh, is that a good movie, Blue Crush, or is that kind of a, like, some sort of a commercialization of surfing, or, or, or is, is that what it is? Um, but... A, what are you laughing at, Jeremy? Um, That's I heard, where Jeremy's I opinion about No, I haven't seen the movie, but I heard that faces are like moving like that on the heads. Is that right? <laughs> I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's kind of, I so mean, it's, it's a little bit cheesy. No, mm -hmm. I didn't. My friend, a lot of my friends did, but I mean, they used actors exactly. and then so you feel put the actors on way. the waves and morph their bodies to the faces and right, so right, right. It's, it's a little like bit the grind. I feel that way about the and grind. Everyone, That's gay too. What's the, so the grind is Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you gotta cut that out, Bert. <laughs> I know you guys got. My friend made grind. So, we can't do that. So you surf. <laughs> Where, where's your favorite place to surf in the world? You surf all over the world, right? Yeah, I just have to say anywhere my friends are out. I don't know, Australia is rad, but then I like I like beacons just down the street from my house. So must be pretty. G Land actually is the best in what? Bali. I have I don't, to say. In Bali? Mm -hmm. Oh, that must be kind of fun being a pro surfer. You get to go to all these exotic places and stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah. good. What's it's now? What is this? Is this part? Is this fun? Have you done a lot of this stuff or this? Um, kind of, you look. Uh, people I don't know. say you look kind of like Anna Corny uh, Kova, Corna Cornacobia, <laughs> right? <laughs> Corn yeah, I just say uh, I wish she'd be a lot richer. That's no? for sure. Yeah. What's but, that like though? Is this? Have you? What's the response been to these photos? I'm trying to think about it. Really? Is there any thong uh -uh. shots? No. Do you have one <laughs> on right now? No. Actually, oh. I don't usually wear anything. Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. I can see your... Uh, <laughs> I can see, actually, your butt cheeks right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun having Jeremy on the show, actually. <laughs> who's, are, who's Natasha? Are you my all right? sister, and then my brother's Rex. Oh, okay. Rex and there. Natasha, okay. Yeah. So, no, but, oh, come on. I'm sorry. I'm hey, sorry. thanks for coming on the show. I know. That was, real, that was really cool. No, thanks a lot. And, and we'll be watching the show. North Shore on WB, right? Thank you. Thanks. Okay, that's yeah, it for the show tonight. Like thanks you. to my guests. That's it? Milo. Yeah, that's it. My, my, legend, Milo uh, Ventimiglia, Jeremy Klein, so Veronica K. Thanks to Glenn. Good night, everybody.